The event countdown has begun. A timer has appeared above the rocket at Dusty Depot, counting down to the ultimate destruction of the Fortnite world as we know it. Welcome back guys for another Fortnite video, my name's Craig from LJ Studios and today we're talking all about the upcoming Season 10 event that we've all been patiently waiting for. And of course if you enjoy the video remember to leave a like and if you want to see more from me then subscribe with notifications turned on so you can stay tuned for all the latest news in Fortnite. It's been rumoured and speculated for a while now that we might just be getting a new map for Season 11. Due to a bunch of leaks of a lot of new POIs and everything that's just going on in the game right now with the return of Kevin, the rocket being rebuilt, Zero Point, Monster Game Files and the Meteor, it seems that the Fortnite team are preparing for one amazingly huge event. Personally speaking, this is the most I've been looking forward to an event, not just because of us potentially getting a new map, but just that so much is going on at once and I just can't wait to see what Epic pull off. So looking at the countdown timer, it's confirmed that the event will kick off on Sunday the 13th of October at 7pm here in the UK, which is also 2pm ET, 11am PT, and Monday the 14th of October down under in Australia. At the same time, Season 10's Overtime Out of Time challenges are due to start on the 8th of October at 9am ET and end at the exact time the Season 10 event kicks off. Does this mean that as soon as the event ends then we go straight into server downtime ready for Season 11? I hope so, because if that's the case then it's almost certain that there will be some kind of mass destruction to our map, which could mean we might in fact be getting a whole new map for Season 11. It's already been confirmed by leakers that the Season 10 event will be taking place right in the middle between Loot Lake and Dusty Depot and October the 13th is the day when Season 11 starts so it looks like the event will happen and whatever happens in the event will directly lead us into Season 11. This event is going to be amazing and I can't wait to witness it but sadly the event starts when my 15 month old daughter goes to bed. But luckily for me, my amazing wife said, it's cool, I can watch the event while she puts her to sleep, so we're on. Now, there's a lot of theories out in the world about how the Season 10 event will go down, but what we do know is Kevin, the Rocket, the Nexus Orb, and the Meteor are all going to play their part in the ultimate destruction of our Fortnite world. There's been theories of the bus driver making an emergency landing and taking us all away from the chaos, as leakers suggested that we would be seeing the event from the sky. Or another theory is that the Nexus Orb will suck us in, similar to the Butterfly event, and will have us floating in the sky while we watch our Fortnite match map burn to the ground. There's literally so many different ways that this event could go and I'm just excited to see it all. We haven't been told how long downtime will be going into season 11 so as soon as we officially know I'll be sure to keep you guys all updated. So in my last video I said about how smurfing is a bannable offence and Ghost Aiden had his alt character banned from the game and this is all due to very long queue times. With players like Ghost Aiden their skill level is so high compared to anyone else that it's just taking them a lot longer than the average person to queue for a game. When you're streaming your gaming session you kind of need to be playing otherwise your audience just gets bored and leaves the stream. This is a problem since the matchmaking had been changed but the Fortnite team have now said on Twitter we've updated our matchmaking functionality to reduce longer matchmaking times that some players have been experiencing. They were aware of the issue the day before and they have now apparently fixed it. I haven't had any reports from anyone saying if their hotfix did indeed fix it yet, so if you are one of the players who experienced long queue times, let me know in the comments down below if it's been better since the 5th. Sadly, I'm not that amazing of a player, so I wouldn't know. In other news, we've had a leak about the bots that were being added in Season 11. So according to popular leaker Sheena BR Fortnite Leaks, they said the bots, which will be added in Season 11, will apparently wear the AIM outfit. There is an unused style of the AIM outfit in the game files, and it would make sense that the bots will wear this style to prevent players from pretending to be a bot during the game. I quite like the idea of this. As soon as bots were announced, I could foresee a bunch of clips going around the internet of people shooting in random places, pretending to be bots, and then just suddenly destroy whoever they were trying to trick into thinking they were a bot. It would have been some kind of new meme or something but if what Sheena is saying is true then we're going to know exactly what the bots look like and no one else is going to have access to that skin to prevent pretending to be one. I'm actually quite looking forward to bots in season 11 but just for training purposes and if Epic are able to do an all versus bots game mode purely for practice where you can turn up the difficulty of the bots eventually then I think that's just going to help a lot of people out in the long run but that's not for certain yet it's just a theory. 
Well, that's about it for today's video. Not a whole lot going on in Fortnite this weekend, which is the usual build-up to the end-of-season event going into the new season. I'm going to be doing a complete Season 10 review and my thoughts on the season compared to others next week, so be on the lookout for that one. I've also been thinking about doing daily shop updates. If that's something you guys would be interested in seeing along with other content throughout the week, then just let me know in the comments down below. I would love the feedback. If you enjoyed the video, then please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button to show your support and toggle that notification bell to stay tuned with all the latest and greatest Fortnite news and if you're looking for a creator to support on the support a creator program then look no further it would be really awesome if you guys could support us by popping in lj studios in the shop before buying any new skins have a great day guys and i'll see you all in the next one